as we enter near downtown, her eyes manage to shine even brighter, reflecting all the lights of the city. Oh, the decorations are so beautiful. All the people. She's really admiring the stores lined with so many colorful lights and more. It's like I'm with a kid that's seeing everything for the first time. What's this? What's that? Oh, look! Oh, Viagra! I can hardly believe my eyes! It looks like she can barely contain her excitement, too! This place had grown into a big city in only a few years! Ah, uh, has it really been that long for you? Well, yes, I mean, I spend most of my time on my work. How are you walking around without everyone staring at your fox bits? How easy! I don't let anyone see them. Just my tits. Everybody just looks right at those. <laughs> you just... So you just don't give your permission? Exactly! I have no idea how that is supposed to work, but it's obviously not a human thing. Suddenly, her attention is snared by another store! Oh, man. What did he sell there, Vagra? She points towards it with her ears perked up attentively. I realize what store she's pointing at, and I perk up attentively. Oh, that's just another... Then I turn and I realize... Nothing! Nothing! They don't sell anything there! Nothing? Mm. You must be selling something. I mean, how is it an insane business? Ah, uh, it's ah uh, nothing you'd be interested in, really. Well, now I'm even more interested in there. Let's go take a look. Let's just not go in there, okay? Oh, her ears droop again. I feel like I kicked a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, scary. You don't want to. Oh, fine. Evil woman, let's just go. I'd feel manipulated, but I'm pretty sure the only one doing it is me to myself. I just can't resist that face. Me? Really? Is okay? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, let's go before I get second thoughts again, okay? She practically drags me into the store. Yay! Let's go! I want to see everything! Take everything! Fuck everything! Yes! <laughs> As we enter the shop, a small shiver of dread goes down my spine! Akina's expression is puzzled, to say the least. That's supposed to hold your tits? What is this? Nothing! They sell here. Viagra. It's... It's a lingerie store! It's a what? Why did I get to be picked to be the tour guide to ladies' under things? Ah! It's... It's something you wear under your clothes! So... It's not supposed to feel cold under the kimono? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, you mean... You're not wearing any underwear? Then what the hell is this? Supposed to be a shadow, fundoshi or something. Probably. <laughs> no, y is that weird? No, it's perfect. I love you. Uh, very much so for here. Suddenly, my thoughts are captured by the image of a breeze coming by, and oh! Welcome out of the town with your boyfriend. The shop attendant suddenly comes into view, but not really. We don't get to see her. That's right. Wait, when did I become her b b b boyfriend? So, what side do you want? Do you want your boyfriend to see something wild, dark, innocent? Oh, yes, please. It cannot tilt her head to the side. I don't really know yet. Oop, Channel Santa right there. 
But let's just try things on and see what we like. I can tell you all about what's most popular right now. I feel awkward to say the least. But I did agree to go on a date with Akina, right? Yes, yes. Tell me about everything that's new. Alright. <laughs> I promise you'll be really cute or sexy, depending. They wander off deeper into the shop. That leaves me to wander around. It feels like everyone's staring at me. I probably they don't have any heads, I'm sure. I probably look like some kind of skeleton weirdo. The attendant More than normal. The attendant comes back, fortunately. Would you like to come with us to see the dressing room? Mm. Oh, sure. She's really straightforward, but I guess she does this all the time. Part of the job description. <laughs> Don't worry, I take my boyfriend in lingerie shopping all the time. It's no big deal. Oh, yes, thanks. I don't exactly feel reassured, but it isn't like Akina's far. When I get there, she's still inside. It leaves me waiting awkwardly still for a couple minutes. What does? It, does he mean the shopkeeper? It leaves me waiting awkwardly. Oh, are you coming in, huh? Well, fuck you. Her eyes shine like they ever do when she steps out, smiling brightly when she sees me. Did you, uh, find something that you like? She grabs the edge of her kimono. Lifting it up, she shows me her pink panties held on by barely their straps and marked by a cute bow. <laughs> That does not look comfortable. <laughs> they're not. These things, they are super not comfortable. You can't wear these. Well, I guess they're not meant to be on very long anyway. Yeah. <laughs> these ones, Viagra Chan. <laughs> what do you think? I'm totally dumbfounded. My mouth feels like it's full of cotton. People surely must be whispering about this. This can't be normal. What are you doing? You can't just flash your panties at people. Why not? You're supposed to be good, right? My eyes are inevitably drawn to the tiny, tiny panties again. They cover so much less than I expected. That's, that's not the problem. Ah, I can't hear you. Were your type? Oh, it's it's not that I dislike them. It's just you can't flash your panties in public like that. The cops are very clear about this. Huh? Are you supposed to hear boyfriend issues? Not on the first date in the store in front of other people. Oh, I know. I should loosen them a little. Ah. <laughs> uh? With agonizing slowness, she begins to tug at the straps, which are not tie straps, so this makes no sense. <laughs> and then the straps begin to slip down, down, down! Underwear is ancient! There's no way you don't know what panties are! Hehe, <laughs> you got me! Still, I really do want to know what they look like. I really want you to know what you like. <laughs> I think with what I said. So, you like them pink and cute, or maybe dark and lazy? I do prefer a girl to wear them, on or off. <laughs> she is curious. I shall give her that. How about like this? She suddenly pulls on the straps, making the fabric outline the shape of her. Ah, it's almost like I can feel the bleeding. Wait. Nosebleed. Oh. <laughs> it's almost like I can feel her period. <laughs> Wait, she's a fox bird, isn't she in heat? <laughs> Beast man, tell me these things. <laughs> 
the stairs just drilling into my spine from apparently all the other people watching this. Enough! You have had your fun, wicked woman! Enough of what? She lets go of the straps and they snap back into place, which really is also painful. Don't, don't do that. You cheeky fox! No, seriously, do you like it? I force myself to look down over my embarrassment. I, ah, uh, I think they look good on you. Her eyes, they seem like they really are gold as soon as I say that. Wonderful, thank you, Viagra. Right, this is how I will get out of this. She'll be satisfied once she finds a purchase, right? She is a female. Man, they do look good on her besides. Now, let me try on the next one. I've got ten more that I want you to try on, and then the shopping lieutenant said. Ah, so much for that. She really is a woman. I suppose that what doesn't kill me makes me stronger in the loincloth. Eventually, she settles back on that pair of panties. I lost track of the number of shops we visited, but then we take a break in the park. I guess being a fox spirit pays well because these shopping bags are pretty heavy. You know, Viagra? <laughs> yes? I wasn't kidding. I wasn't wearing any underwear. <laughs> so she just enjoy the- Oh, does she just- <laughs> She is a much enjoy breeze. <laughs> Does she just enjoy the breeze, then? Hmm, I guess she doesn't have any sense of modesty. Why would she? So, you know what panties are, but you don't wear them? That's right! It's not very comfy without them. Easier your access. I can just sit right on the breeze <laughs> and ride. It's really great. Then why did you buy them now? Because you said you had them. Her ears begin to falter again. Oh no! Maybe, maybe just seeing that. Tell me the truth, Viagra. How do they look? I wasn't lying. I really do like them. How did I get to talking with a fox spirit about modern underwear again? Oh, if I were still in high school, I wouldn't be able to speak for all this embarrassment. Thankfully, that was two, three hundred years ago on another planet, so no one really cares. I'm not sure how well I'm doing now, either, but at least I can still talk. Good, I'm glad, Viagra. It, it still seems kind of weird to me, for a first date, showing me your cooter and all. It's actually supposed to be fun. My panties is fun. <laughs> I guess you're right. Mm. I'm not sure how much fun or for who. I think it's fun too. <laughs> what sort of place does she come from? Hey, Akina, are you really a fox spirit? Of course. See this tail? It's not just a rotator up my back. It flits from side to side. I mean, it could just be a costume prop. Oh, of course. Can I touch it? Her eyes, they widen in shock. Is it my tail? Are you fucking serious? No, 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 I, I can't. The tail seems to be suddenly twitching all over the place. My, my tail is, 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 is basically rattling the stone. It's, uh... What about it? It's sensitive. I've actually found something she's shy about. Maybe the only thing. A little while ago you were flashing me and probably the rest of the store. Now you're embarrassed over your tail. You don't understand. My tail is sensitive. A pussy isn't. It's been worn out. It's like, it's like way different, okay? Not even the priest is allowed to touch it. It's sensitive in an erratic way. <laughs> oh. So what about your ears, then? Viagra! 
You're pervert. If her ears and tail are really only visible to those whom she gives permission, oh! I can only imagine what this would sound like to anyone who walks by. They'd think we're crazy! Or worse! Wait, what's worse than that? Your huge blue skeleton dude. What more <laughs> embarrassing could this be <laughs> for you? So you're okay with flashing people you just met, but no one can touch your fox parts? Exactly! I'm contradictory. I don't need a someone who I knew really, really, really well touched him. Ah, oh, I would never imagine! I guess that makes sense. Uh, well, I didn't mean to pry. I'm so sorry. I mean, I make I make him letting you do it. Her voice grew fainter and fainter until it was almost an exhale. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if she meant for me to hear it. Well, we can wait, right? There's always another time to fool around. Mm. I still don't know if she's for real or not. I am a thick bone man. But it doesn't matter, though. She's still a girl either way. A cute one at that. Thank you, Viagra. I know it's kind of strange for a human to date a fox. No. I would but, say uh... humanoid, but okay. Don't correct me, man. <laughs> but I'm still telling the truth. Her ears perk up from their droop. I feel the relief radiating off her. Oh, that's some hot it's relief. It's 100% genuine, Akina. No fabrication, except for the panties. <laughs> anyway, I had a wonderful tiny day, Viagra. Come visit again sometime. <laughs> come up and see me sometime. <laughs> I see as soon as you come. <laughs> I bet. Sure. I mean, I can't let that old man do everything to you himself, no, can I? I let you change things up. You know, try a different cock once in a while, you know. Kino laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> and don't worry, I'll keep an eye on him. <laughs> it feels awkward just standing here. Would you like to walk back to the shrine together? Her tail swishes happily as she smiles. Oh, she's big. Skelly's love is increased by ten. <laughs> Something. Would you like to go to the beach? <laughs> he wants to go to the beach all night. <laughs> he wants to get a piece of that beach. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Something doesn't feel right. Ever since I came home from my date with that fox, something has felt off. I can't put my finger on it, but it feels like something is wrong. Actually, it's obvious what's wrong, but part of my brain won't accept it. I'm not the sort of person to be paranoid. But the front door was unlocked and the fridge was empty before I got here. On top of that, I can't help but notice a certain pair of panties hanging from my desk lamp. This one, you'll have to imagine them. <laughs> The jig's up, Akina! Show yourself, Foxwoman! Hee <laughs> Viagra! You know a cute fox like me would never do anything wrong. You're admitting your own guilt by simply being here! Although I can't tell where her voice is coming from. Who's saying about guilt? Let's be hide and seek. I'll hide behind the spirit realm, and you can never find me. <laughs> I can hear her clearly now, but I guess she is invisible. Well, that sounds crazy, but it's the most sensible explanation. I feel her like she's standing right next to me, like she's mocking me. I quickly reach out and grab her, or at least the spot where I think she is. Ooh, but Inga, you're hurt. Lusting. You're, you're lusting after my body that badly? Can't you find what you're grabbing? Stop playing games, Fox! Reveal yourself! Yuki! 
the grumpy looking fox girl appears in my arms. You're supposed to play along, stupid. Cute girls flirting with you after all. That was a week of food in that fridge. Fix it and then we will talk about playing along. But I can't pay you that way, Viagra. <laughs> but you're welcome to use my body as payment. <laughs> it's my first time though, so please be gentle. When you take me- I'm sorry, in your big strong arms. <laughs> I have never had a bone man before. <laughs> she begins to lean into my arms, my big strong arms. So I just let her go. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Save your shit. <laughs> Thud, fox spirit meat carpet. Ow! Viagra? Why are you being so mean? My son! The bitter tears begin to form in her eyes! Oh, no. Oh, no. Am I cute enough? Is that what you're saying? I'm not cute enough? Fuck, I can't read. <laughs> if you weren't cute enough for me, why would I agree to go on a date? You threw me in the floor like garbage. Sure. Admitting that I'm cute enough for you now. You <laughs> finish making a deal, Viagra. One cute body from one fridge. <laughs> Akina is relentless, it seems. My god, she lusts after the D. How old are you again? Shouldn't you be more dignified than this? He's no better than you. Ask a lady her age. The spirit realm has a completely different flow of time. What could be a hundred years for you might be one moment in the spirit realm for me. You could say, as it were, I would be in junior high. Well, that seems awfully convenient. I'm just telling you how it works. Other years here, junior high over there, you know? <laughs> anyway, Fox, there's still the matter of my fridge. God damn it. Pussy fridge, pussy fridge. Sorry, I'm telling my, you, this is trade. My hand is fucking up. <laughs> so just fuck me already. That? That's just an illusion. Your food is fine, stupid ass. Really now? I opened the door to the fridge. Then how do you explain this? Eh? All of my food is still there! You cheeky fox! Flattery will get you everywhere. I'd hardly call that flattery, but I guess this food crisis has been averted! Seriously though, don't forget your panties on the way out. For real. My panties? She glances over to my desk! Oh, that's right. I was fucking your lamp. <laughs> You're so perverted, Viagra. <gasps> that was the first thing you noticed? It really wasn't, I swear. Fun at her, I need to go. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. Let's go on another day soon, Viagra. I really want that D. I want to see if it's as hard as bones. I won't deny that going on a date with her was fun. But this is what I'm going to come home to every time! How does she know where I live anyway? How did you do? Her panties! White, black, pink, lacy, stringy, or plain, sexy, cute, or both! They've been on my mind ever since I saw how good Akina looks in them! Though now I'm starting to wonder what she looks like without! Maybe a stiff breeze would help with that! Akina is pretty fun to be around! Panties are no! Supposedly yesterday was the first time she saw the city in years! But I wonder how long that really has been! Should I ask? Or just wait and see? Why do I even care? I don't actually live here! Huh. I consider now going to the cafe. Or for another date. With Akina! But I didn't want to have to turn her down for another shift. 
I suppose I can make it work if I divide my time evenly between these girls. Will that make them both happy, fickle women? Perhaps I should think of something else. For example, what to do right now? I think I shall stay at home. Oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Good job. I guess I shall relax today. Fuck that job. I don't really need to go out all the time, right? Skelly Skelly! Huh? Who was that? Was it Santa? I hear her voice somewhere. Skelly, help me! Oh yeah, help me! Help me out! <laughs> it's coming from behind my window! Open! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Opening the curtain reveals her clinging desperately to the windowsill. Skelly, let me in! Quick! Questions can happen later! <laughs> I open the window to the chilling wind and pull her all over myself, apparently. I pull too hard and lose my balance! Her breasts wind up smushing against my bony face! Kelly, are you okay? My words don't come out except as muffled noises! <laughs> motorboat, motorboat, motorboat. <laughs> what was that? I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> My hands, they flail to grasp her shoulders and push her up and off of me. Sweet life-giving air floods in as I gasp for breath. <laughs> Sorry about that. She jumps to her feet, and I slowly stand up. So you knew where I live, just like you said. Why didn't you just knock? I got nervous, and doors and shit, I don't get Santa. Thought I was going to... So I look at the quick route to your home, okay? I googled that shit. I suppose that's fair. She seems upset by the whole thing. So I should drop it. Next time. Like it's hot. Next time, call before you come. I'll show you the way. <laughs> well, I was already doing that. I'm in the window. Thank you, Skelly. I'm not going to ask how she managed to reach my window. After all that's happened, I've realized that applying logic to this week simply isn't going to work for a bone man. I've managed to get in plenty of work, so I have some time off until like Christmas Eve and then I just really bomb rush the fuck out of it. So we can spend some time together! Work on my peppermint stick. She begins to look around my apartment. Not very Christmas Day around in here, what the fuck? It's like you're not even from here. Well, I didn't think to buy any decorations. Well, why the fuck not? I'm from Eternia. We don't technically have Christmas there. Besides, I thought I was going to be alone for Christmas. Why waste the money? Well, that is no longer your fucking case. We're going shopping, huh? There is no way I can allow your apartment to be this barren of decoration. Skelly, it is time for your Christmas spirit. I'm going to make it rise like... Hardcore, okay. <laughs> she pulls out her wand and begins twirling it around. I'm gonna show you how it's done. Hold on. Ah, uh, hold your hand. She reaches up with one hand, the other still twirling her candy cane. Oh, yes. There's something I want you to see. <laughs> My hand clasps with her own. Close your eyes. Stroke it. This is part of my secret. I guess I shall roll with it, as they say. Dot. Can I open my eyes yet? I can't read it. it says, of course. Yeah. <laughs> is that it? Yeah. 
Huh? Shazam! What? Where the hell are we? We're in the northern Minnesota, bitch. This is my workshop. Santa's workshop? But... Don't question it. Just don't... Right. Your workshop. Now let's make some decorations. Let's get sticky. <laughs> my family taught me how to make them, so we're just gonna make them pretty, okay? Good enough. You mean there's an entire family of Santas? We look after different parts of the world. Like, we can all do it one person, really? You people are so fucking crazy. So is there really a Santa with a big belly and a white beard like those children once told me? You're talking about dad? You mean that Santa Claus is your dad? Obviously by me saying dad, you dipshit. <laughs> do you want to meet him? You want to meet my dad already? Isn't that movie a little fast? Maybe he'll have some time after Christmas is over. This week gets stranger with each passing moment. I guess in a world this big, it makes sense. Even with magic, one person could only do so much. That um, talks about the size of eternity, doesn't it? How big is your family, Santa? Let me see. Fuck, oh, he hurts. Her face screws up with a thoughtful expression. What? <laughs> <laughs> she even lightly uh, she bangs her candy cane lightly on her skull <laughs> think 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 sorry I had to count and numbers really hurt that's how many there are of course making toys for billions of children is not easy okay you're saying Santa has hundreds of children whoa what kind of virility does Father Claus possess? Uh, <laughs> he wrecked the fuck out of Mrs. Claus's vagina, I am just saying. What about Mrs. Claus? My god! Even knowing magic is involved somehow, I can't believe this. Still, I have to admit, I am curious about the Claus family dynamics now. Woo! Anyway... Since we have this much time, I can make some quality decorations. She turns to her workbench as she speaks. Then her hands speed up into a blur as she grabs various things and starts putting them together. Ta-da! She bounces back to me, Christmas lights spilling out of her arms. Let's go back and decorate. There's no way I'm gonna let this holiday go like this. Close enough. Thank you, but... But? How do we get back? That's easy. Just close your eyes again. Okay. Shazam, bitches. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. Candy all the way. A sharp clap is audible next to me. Slam bells ring! <laughs> Are you listening? <laughs> Give me a second. Hmm. Oh yeah! Slay! Boy, this lingerie shop woman's gonna get get to know me pretty well. 